Hey guys, what is going on and welcome back to another episode of the Huddersfield Town Career Mode. This is episode number 44 and today we are returning with four more big games with our Terriers as we aim to keep our very impressive run going. So lots to get through today and believe me there are some big fixtures coming today and you guys are going to really enjoy this one. Now to recap the last episode, you guys would have seen our four wins from four. Uh, we beat West Ham away in London for the first game in the Premier League. Sisto scoring again, he's had a great start to the season. Uh, then beat Feyenoord in our third Champions League group stage game by three goals to nil at home. That was a brilliant win for us, that one, against the Dutch club. Uh, then beat Stoke by a goal to nil, courtesy of a late Moses penalty in a very tough fixture for us, but thankfully got the win later on, courtesy of the league's top scorer. And then we beat West Ham again in the Carabao Cup this time by two goals to nil, where Bradley King did it again, bagged the brace, scored the first one later on, and then in stoppage time from a corner, we cleared it and he scored from behind the halfway line 19 years old but this guy already is looking the real deal uh, so today four big games uh, in uh, two different competitions Wolves away at Molyneux first very tough test for us that one last season lost that fixture uh, away uh, against Wolves uh, then Real Madrid at home at the Kirklee Stadium I'm so excited for that one in a battle between the top two in our Champions League group H and then uh, Man City and Arsenal who together play today in real life uh, first City at home and then Arsenal away so four Four big games, and uh, the first thing we'll do is take a look at our, our academy because uh, we've got a youth squad update here, and we'll take a look at how the youth boys are currently getting on. Now, I know two episodes ago I asked you guys to comment down below and let me know what nation we should scout next. The reason I won't be uh, putting those five nations into a poll for you today, and I'll leave it for the next episode, is because that episode's just been uploaded for me, so I need to let everyone have a chance to comment and uh, you know have their say on where we should send our scout. So, in the next episode, I will let you guys vote between a choice of five, but um, yeah, the episode's literally just gone live for me. Me, so it's not really fair to just get a couple of comments and uh, not let everyone have a chance to comment a nation and suggest a country. So there is the academy update. That is the preview for today's episode. Let's get to it. First game, Wolves away. So first game is indeed Wolves away at Molyneux, who last season played very well, but this season have started off very poorly. Uh, sitting in 19th place with just the one win from the first nine games. And an interesting selection as well in a 5-2-3, which features Oberlin on the bench. Last season in the team of the competition, this season not in a starting 11. But as for our team 4-4-1-1 as we go in search of our sixth straight win in all competitions and we've not conceded a goal since the Dortmund game at the start of last month. Hudson in goal back for Sessignon the Great Dane who's looking so good in that centre back role alongside Twansby with the Ox at right back Sist on the left, Malcolm on the right and Marty and Moy in the middle with Bettina de Cam and Moses Lee in the line. This is a familiar Huddersfield lineup. It doesn't change much in the Premier League games and that's because right now we're top of the table and playing very well. Let's get our three points come on the Terriers. We've got the team with the least goals for against the team with the highest goals for. And we'll see how that translates into the match that lies ahead. Yeah, well, the wayside can go for it here. You know, they would sniff a victory, and rightfully so. Right, poor start to this game. Still 0-0, 22 minutes in. Last season, we lost here at Wetton Molyneux by a goal to nil. That's the first loss of the season for us. So, despite both teams having contrasting starts to the season, us on fire and Wolves anything but that, I am a little bit nervous heading into this game. But it is the easiest of the four, assessing your pass to himself there. So, got to come through and get the three points and start off on the front foot today. But right now, I can't seem to break down Wolves. They are playing the 5-2-3 and they're very compact right now. And I can't seem to break them down and find a space on the pitch. Maybe a chance here though. Simon on the ball, gets around his man, finds space to let fly and does find the back of the net. All it takes is one chance for Moses and he will probably find the back of the net. 1-0 to the Terriers and this guy's into double digits already. Said it before, 30 goals for the season. He's going to get them. And Marty gives him the ball. Quick turn to beat. Courtney House who stepped out of position and what a strike into the top corner. 1-0 Huddersfield and the perfect start. Oh, and a terrible pass there, and Wolves are in trouble. It's Sisto bearing down on goal, and what a mistake from Wolverhampton Wanderers directly from kickoff. They gave the ball away. Pion Sisto runs onto it and makes it two to the Terriers two minutes after we got our first goal. They just gave the ball away directly from kickoff, straight to Vitinho. He said, here you go, Pion. He got a free run at goal, takes his time and blasts it home. Wolves capitulating here in the first half an hour. 2-0 to Huddersfield Town. That's a rookie error. Well, there is the after time whistle and for Wolves well the fans must be tearing their hair out you cannot do that against the league's highest 
highest scorers and the top team in the division. Defending so well for 25 minutes, then you concede one, you switch off, and in a blink of an eye, you're two goals down. 2 0 Lee going to break, and I think this game's already done. Wolves have lost it. It's not over yet, just under half an hour to go, still leading by two. There is time for Wolves, but they are to score and get back in this one. They need a goal now, but instead, Chamberlain finds the handsome man, and now a chance on the break here. And when we get going, we are so rapid. Chaplin is through, Chaplin is through, Chaplin is through. He's rounded the goalkeeper and put it into the side netting. Should have taken it on the left hand side there. His preferred left foot tried to round the keeper with the electric pace he's got into the side netting, and that really should have been the game there. Poor mistake from me. Malcolm looks for Chaplin, late chance here for a third goal. What a mess up this time. Chaplin, Chaplin, Connor Chaplin. Oh, it's going to be cleared off the line. Wonderful work from Connor, but sadly, I missed two golden chances with him. Just couldn't apply the finishing touch. It's not going to matter in the end, but that would have been lovely. The final whistle coming any second now. Can he hang on to the clean sheet? Neves tackled by Davis. And that should be the game. Final score at Molyneux. Wolves nil, Huddersfield 2. We continue our fantastic run. The streak of clean sheets now gets extended to six games as well and Nuno in, that's not Nuno uh, Nuno must be really frustrated after this game knowing that Wolves gifted us that second goal and after that the game was basically done we didn't really need to play especially well in this game the wonderful goal by Moses gave us the lead and after that a simple finish for Sisto from an error from Wolves when passing out from the kickoff gave us those two goals but defensively were fantastic and for all our attacking prowess for all the plaudits we've had this season for our great attacking play the one thing you can't forget is how good we've been defensively and I'll tell you this right now now, man match goes to Amati for getting one of the assists in this game. I think that's for the second goal. Daniel Amati is coming to this team. He's protecting the back line, allowing Moy to attack and become, uh, become more of a threat when going forward. And he's such a physical powerhouse for 90 minutes. What a decision to bring this guy in on a pre-contract. Two to the final score. A great way to start today's episode off. As we stay top of the table and still undefeated. So second of the big four games today. And my word, am I excited for this one. A battle between the top two in the group right now as the group leaders Real Madrid come and take on here at the Kirkley Stadium. Uh, our team, very similar to the one that won on the weekend with a couple of changes. 4-4-1-1, uh, four, four, one, one, Morrison goal, back for of Jesperson, the great Dane Mawson, and Oli Bardi with Amati and Moy in the middle. Sisto's on the left, Kachunga is on the right. Moses Akam, and after scoring four goals in two European starts, Mounier is once again playing striker. But as for the Real Madrid team, 4-3-3 three, three, and the same lineup as the one that beat us at the Bernabeu by two goals to nil. Kaylor Navas in goal, a back for Marcelo, Varane, Ramos and Carver Howell. The midfield trio is Llorente, Kroos and Casemiro as well. And what a deadly front three. Once again, Ronnie on the left-hand side with Gareth Bale on the right and Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang as their striker as well. We won all of our games in October. We got off to a winning start in November as well. But this is going to be a really, really big test. See if we can keep the win streak going and get a big three points here. Come on, let's field town. We can do this. Real Madrid down the right hand side, shrugged off by Jesperson. What a start to the season the 16 year old fullback is having. As Sisto finds Mounier, Mounier to Moses, plays him through. Can he keep his composure? Oh my word! I mean, he slumped to the ground. How did he put that over? Lovely ball by Moses, gives it back to Mounier. And I, I thought I put the right amount of power and accuracy on that. Evidently not. We will not get a better chance all game long. How on earth did I miss that? I know that three of his four goals in Europe have come with his head, but either way, I don't know how on earth I messed up so badly there. I really don't. It's not like it just went over the bar and grazed across, but it went miles over the bar. And uh, Real Madrid, lucky escape, and now a terrible pass for me. Sees Aubameyang played through, and he's... Oh, he has missed as well. I was going to say he's not going to miss, but he's missed it too. Two sitters in 33 minutes by the strikers of the top two in the group. I mean, that, that is unbelievable, man. I can't believe it. Zidane can't believe it. What's going on? Still tied at 0-0. As Mounier looks for Kachunga. Can we strike just for the break here? Kachunga in behind Marcello. Plays it inside. And Moses! Oh, just wide the post from our top scorer. So unlucky to find the back of the net. But it's been a first half featuring nothing but that right now. Good chances. You'd think we'd get some goals, but instead, all the effort's going off target. Mawson to Moses. And now Moses frees to Captain Moy. Gets it back off the Aussie. He'll give it straight back to him. And Moy tries to find Mounier. Can he find space to shoot? Oh, good stop by Navas. First attempt on target, I think, in the entire game as Carvajal hits it off Amati for a goal kick. But a good stop by Navas and still 0-0. There's still time for Andrew to win this game. Ramos, Ronaldo, places one. Oh, it's gone in. And with five and a half minutes to go, Cristiano Ronaldo does what he does best. 
best, wins it for Real Madrid, and the group leaders are going to extend their gap at the top to four points. Oh, God, we were holding on, but just couldn't hold on. Ronnie puts his thumb up to the travelling fans. They've rescued the three points late on. It was played through by Ramos Ford for the attack, and what a strike as well. Morris was quite far off his line there, I must say, but Ronaldo, with perfect trajectory, loops it over him and in to the back of the net. Real Madrid have won it, and our win streak, and our undefeated streak, and our clean sheet streak has gone courtesy of Cristiano Ronaldo. You just cannot deny greatness. What a goal by Ronnie, and it could become two here. Aubameyang plays it to Bale. Gareth Bale, 2-0 to Real Madrid, and the points in the bag, and surely qualification secured with two games to go. Welshman secures it, it's all over. Well, we won't let this loss break us. It's a disappointing defeat to lose it late Not on, conceding two office. goals, but nothing could have done about the goals. Be Ronnie's be lovely striking and Bale wrapping it up with a lovely effort right himself. 2-0 the this. final score, yeah, round you get the win, and now our qualification the is definitely in doubt. Anywhere. It was an interesting game because in the first half there were some good chances missed by both teams, but in the end, round just quality shone through at the end as they got the three points. Um, I'm very interested to see what happened in the game between Feyenoord and Dortmund. We're hoping that's going to be a draw, so we'll stay in second second place and hopefully still stay quite far away from both of those teams and it is going to finish as a 3-2 win for Dortmund so not the result we wanted there we'll stay in second place but a tough loss so third of the big four games today as we aim to bounce back and get a win here against Manchester City in the Premier League it's first versus fourth going to this game with just six points separating the sides and it's going to be a real test of our character once more can we bounce back after that loss in midweek uh, back to a normal 4-4-1-1 then our sort of league line up, if you will. Uh, Hudson in goal, back for Sessignon, Billing, Toansby in the Ox, with the midfield being assisted on the left, Malcolm on the right, and Martin Moy in the middle, with Bettino de Cam. Mose, of course, does lead the line once more. And as for Pep Guardiola's side, it is a fantastic one. 5 3 2 with Edison in goal, a back five of Benjamin Mendy, Manolas, Otamendi, Denea, and Sir Joria at right wing back. The midfield trio is Fernandinho, Douglas Luiz, and Kevin De Bruyne, and what a deadly front two this is. Gabriel Jesus and Sergio Aguero. Manchester City next. This is going to be a very tough test, but hopefully we'll come through, get the three points, and stay top of the table and undefeated as well. Come on, the Terriers. Well, the only undefeated side left in the Premier League. League, so a lot of pressure on our shoulders now with every passing game. We're still top. We're still top. Top four is where we want to finish this season, but the longer this goes on, the more you wonder, can we stay here as Vitinho is on the move and finds it into the bottom corner, and what a start for Huddersfield Town. Vitinho with the flip flat, beat Denea, ran through one on one, was under pressure, but kept a cool head and fires it home. What a start. That was a wonderful little move by Vitinho, kept his head down, charged forward with Manolas covering. I was wondering whether he could handle the pressure. He certainly did his first of the year and what a start to the game. 1-0 Terriers, let's keep our discipline here, let's keep ourselves focused and find a second goal and give ourselves a cushion. Come on. Malcolm for Huddersfield. Nice turn. Rolls it into Moy. Moy to Daniel Amati. Amati finds space to let fly from range. And Edison has to palm it away down to his right hand side. Still 1 0. It's been a fantastic first 25 minutes. Let's keep this intensity up. As Oh, Sessignon turns it in. And it's 2 0 for the Terriers. A corner played into the middle. It was a bicycle kick by Malcolm. And in the end, Sessignon ran onto it, got the assist for the Brazilian, and turned it home. That was absolutely bizarre. It happened so quickly there. But we're two goals up. What a fantastic first half an hour. Corner to the middle. Malcolm's bicycle kick. And Sessignon, quick as a flash. Latched onto it, put it past Edison for his first of the year, and I think as well his first goal in a Huddersfield shirt. 2 0 to the Terriers. I said we need to show great character this season. We're doing just that. What a brilliant first half an hour. Let's not switch off for half time. Come on, still leading by two. Let's hold on to this lead going to the break. Mendy on the ball though, takes it inside. Back to Fernandinho. De Bruyne on the edge of the area. Good stop by Ross Hudson. Down to his right, turning behind for a corner. Still 2 0. As good as we are on the attack we need to keep on staying switched on defensively if we are to hold on to these three points come on you know I mentioned this last season funny enough in this exact fixture for the first time and I was talking about form 
and how important it is in this year's CM. And it seems to be so much more of a determining factor than ever before, both for your club and the AI clubs. And, and, and right now, I'm really feeling that, you know, because we're in such good form right now. We may have lost to Real Madrid. We just feel so much better when we're playing our games. There's so much more confidence. Vitinho gets onto the ball, and still Vitinho, and still Vitinho. Oh, Moses! Moses, mate, I know you're our top scorer, but that was wonderful work there from the Brazilian. Let him take the, the take aim, and I wanted a free kick there. I wanted a free kick. What? Well, we've won a corner, but I wanted the free kick. Still, Fatino takes it, headed clear, and it'll drop to Aaron Moy, who blazes the shot into orbit. But yeah, to repeat what I was saying there, I really feel that this season form is much more of a determining factor than ever before. When you're in good form, you feel unstoppable, and you keep on getting the results. But when you're out of form, it's really patchy. It's so much more difficult to get the wins, and that's what I'm feeling. And I think the AI teams are having the same sort of feeling this year. EA have definitely tweaked something, man. This is not a placebo. They've definitely tweaked something. Hudson to Chamberlain. Still the lead is two. We have been absolutely excellent in this game from start to finish. We are going to thoroughly deserve these three points, and I'd love them to get a third goal. We don't need to. It will show how good we are in our attack this season. Moses to Sisto, and Sisto tries to feed down left hand side towards Sessignon who has been great all game long that's a good delivery and Moses volley saved by Edison and turned behind for a corner all game long we have been absolutely fantastic it's been a great display we've had so many excellent wins this season and what a save by Edison again as he prevents it becoming free and there it is final score at the Kirkley Stadium Huddersfield Town 2 Manchester City 0 we stay top of the table undefeated and try and pull away from the chasing pack our form in the Premier League has just been scintillating this season. Another big win notched up and a great three points. I'm running out of words because we're just on fire right now and showing no signs of slipping up. Just got to stay focused. Can't get caught up in the moment. Keep on thinking of the future and keep on staying in attack mode. Setting your man a match though. Defensively, this guy was a rock today and also scored his first goal with the club as well. 2-0 to final score. What a big win for the Terriers again. And just before our fourth and final game today in a battle between the top two against Arsenal, uh, Middlesbrough just put in a bid here for Tobias Holm of £4 million. Now, this is a potential to be special winger we got the academy, who sadly only has one-star skill moves and a two-star weak foot. So whilst this guy is a hot prospect for the future, I don't want him. One-star skill moves, two-star weak foot, just, just not good enough for me. So I'm going to let him go £4 million, 500 grand over his valuation. We've got some better youth prospects here with better skill moves and weak foot as well. To me, those two, uh, those two factors are really, really important on youth players. So he can go to the river side. I'm totally fine with that. Well, it's very early in the season, but we have the top two involved today, and it could have a lot of significance down the road a ways. Stay tuned for it. All the action coming up from the Emirates Stadium. And it's live. So fourth and final game today then, and as if the last two weren't big enough, this is a meeting between the top two in the Premier League and the top two top scorers as well. So we are in for a thrilling contest to end today's big episode off. Uh, Arsenal went at the Emirates Stadium. Their team is very good. 5-2-3, Petr Cech in goal and wearing the armband with the back five being Eric Durham, Socrates, Callum Chambers, Rob Holding and Kenny Tate at right wing back. Elneny and Coquelin in the middle of the park and the front three very deadly indeed. Quincy on the right hand side, Alexis Sanchez on the left and Alexander the Lacazette, their striker today. But as threatening as the Arsenal team looks, our team must look threatening as well. No team has scored more goals than us in the Premier League this season, and I want to keep it that way today. Uh, same team as the one to beat City, Hudson in goal, back for assessing you on Billing to Ansby and the Ox at right back as well. Sisto on the left, Malcolm on the right, Moy and Marty in the middle, Vitinho de Cam, and the league's highest scorer, Moses, leading our line today. What a thrilling contest to end today's big episode off. Let's get the win and pull further at the top. Come on, Huddersfield Town. <laughs> Just a quick word on this super scoring season for the visiting team today. Well, they play such an open, expansive game. It does leave them vulnerable at times, but they've just been outscoring the opposition. Some of you guys are the same as me. When the big games come round in a career mode season, I just get so pumped for them. And today is no exception, man. I'm so looking forward to this game. Really excited. And hopefully, we all come through and get the win. Here's Elneny finding Lacazette. First chance for Arsenal. Lacazette giving space there and puts one into the side net. And couldn't see him getting Hudson, uh, beating Hudson, I should say, at the near post. And uh, in the end, didn't hit the target either. So still nil-nil. Totally fine to give Lacazette that sort of room there. One thing we can't do with Lacazette is get really tight up on him and watch him use his pace and agility and turn our defenders and get through. So I'll give him some space today. 
and hopefully that will prove to be the right decision. Gazette. Look at how far off I'm Great playing Lacazette in this game. I'm giving him all the Stop space he wants, and right well. now he doesn't know what to do with that room. And I think that is what's really going to serve us well in this game. Can't stick tight to the guy. Aaron Got to Moore. give him that room. And uh, hopefully he won't turn us and get through. Moses tries his luck and hits the top of the crossbar. First shot of the game for the Terriers. And Moses, top scorer, almost got goal number 11 with a thumping effort. Off the bar, still 0-0. Not too much to report in his first half, but that was very close. Maybe one chance for Arsenal just for half time to go in front. Elden the inside their area. Finds Lacazette here. Lacazette on the ball. Still Lacazette. Drills one in. And there is the first goal. Well, I gave Lacazette the room. And I guess that's the danger of giving a great striker like Lacazette the space. Drills one into the far post. Sanchez is there. 1 0 to the Gunners. And just before the break, we trail. You know, I felt our defensive strategy in the first half was absolutely perfect. Lacazette didn't really do much, but just before the break, he finds some room here. Uh, Sessegnon backs off. It's a great cross to the far post. I don't particularly know where Hudson's diving to, but I don't think it made any kind of difference whatsoever. Sanchez picked out unmarked, and he was not going to miss. 1-0 Gunners, and we fall behind. I'm going to feel sorry for ourselves, though. Second half's begun, and all we can do now is just go out there, do what we've done all season long, find goals and get back on level terms. But Sisto is tackled by Coquelin. And now Lacazette on the ball. Finds Sanchez, gets it in back. Once again, I'll give him some room here. We've been stung once though as he finds Coquelin. Now through to Quincy. He shoots and deflected off Chamberlain and into the back of the net. Now I should get tighter on Lacazette. Ball played through to Quincy. Takes a nick off Chamberlain. 2-0 to the Gunners. And this might be our first league loss of the season. Of the likely end. this will be our first Three league changes. defeat of the season. There's still Alex time. We desperately need a goal ASAP. As Vitinho goes down the right hand side, we need Good one now, really. Cross. As the Brazilian cuts past his man, rolls it inside. There is Malcolm, and there is the goal. Right, pick the ball up, lads. Okay, no, I won't, because uh, ran behind the goal instead. It's 2-1. The Brazilians got it. It's five for the year now for our new number seven. 40 minutes to go. Is there still time? Come on, come on, come on. No, there it is. Final whistle at the Emirates Stadium, and it's all over. Our undefeated run is halted by the Gunners. Arsene Wenger has done it. He's got the win. He cuts the gap at the top of the table. A huge win for Arsenal and a huge loss for us. Two wins in today's episode, but two big losses as well, both in the Champions League and now in the Premier League. I gotta say, for the two top scoring teams in the league, this wasn't exactly a classic, but Arsenal were more clinical, and that's why they got the win. So three points for the Gunners. They cut the gap at the top to just one point now. And this was a really, really damaging loss. But I gotta say, I got it totally wrong in this game. I stood off Lacazette, I gave him room, but in the end he punished me. Grabbing an assist may not have scored, but was instrumental in the Gunners' victory. So two on the final score, a disappointing way to end today's episode off, but we just got ourselves. Uh, got to pick ourselves up, dust ourselves off, and once again show character as we go into the next game, which will be a huge one in a penultimate game in the Champions League group stage of when the Netherlands against Feyenoord. So that will end today's episode of the Huddersfield Town Career Mode, guys. We're a big fan of you for watching. I really hope you have enjoyed it. If you did enjoy today's episode, then please do drop a like, as likes are, of course, very much appreciated, and it really helps channel out as well. Much love to you all. Have a fantastic Sunday night. Hope you enjoyed the 14 videos this week, and I'll see you for the next episode of the Huddersfield CM, a massive one, very soon. Bye.